Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Forest River Vibe 268 RKS. If you're looking for a rear kitchen, you want a lot of countertop space, and this may be one for you. Let's actually start off right up here. So one of the great things about this floor plan is that you have this beautiful window right here. And this is what you want to see. This is out to your campsite. Not only does this let in a ton of natural light during the day, but it also gives you a great view. Directly underneath that, you have two recliners here. They are quite comfortable. The way these recliners work, folks, is not like a, a parachute cord or anything that you have to pull. Basically, what you do is you put your hands right here, you just kind of push back with your back, and then they will move back just like so. Obviously, you want to turn it or bring away from the wall a little bit, otherwise you won't have room. But uh, again, this is a great spot to sit, and you do get a good view to the TV, which I'll show you in just a minute. You'll also notice there is an electrical outlet right down here, so that way if you need to plug in a cell phone or tablet wire sitting here, you can do that. And you have a light switch right here which controls the under lighting all the way throughout the kitchen. So when you turn that on, it's great accent lighting. It also really helps brighten up your kitchen area. Speaking of the kitchen, let's take a look. So as I mentioned, big beautiful countertop space in here, a ton of prep space which is great. Right here is your double bowl sink. You'll see that they have uh, the cover here on one side. This is actually quite handy. It's great if you want to like drain pots and pans, you can put them on here. You know, you can, whoops, you can kind of uh, roll it up just like so. Otherwise, you know, have it laid out. You can take it obviously all the way off if you want. But I think this is actually pretty handy. You also have the high rise faucet right there. So it is a little bit easier to wash and rinse dishes. We take a look up top, you will see storage across the top here. You kind of have the decorative glass, brush nickel pulls. We open that up, you can see storage there, as well as storage on the other side here. So that way you have a spot for your plates as well as your cups. Stick them right up there. Obviously you have uh, lighting underneath here too to make sure your kitchen space is nice and bright. A window there to let in some light during the day. A couple of drawers right here. You'll see that one does have a divider in there for your silverware. And right underneath your sink here, you will see you have a trash can. So that way, if you need to throw anything away, it's uh, nice and easy. It's already tucked out of the way. You don't have to worry about, you know, having to tie it around a handle or something like that. You can just toss everything right under there. Over here to this side is your cooktop and oven. You'll notice that the cooktop is recessed with the glass cover. So again, you can utilize that as prep space. You have the decorative backsplash there, but when this folds up and back, this kind of doubles as one too, which is great because honestly the glass is probably easier to clean. Three burner cooktop there, the front one being high output. And if we drop the door down, you have the oven in case you want to do some baking. You also have a stainless steel hood here with both a light and fan as well as the microwave directly above that. As we round out the kitchen, right over here is your Whirlpool fridge freezer. Residential refrigerator freezer here. Great space in there. You have the big drawer on the bottom as well. You can see you have a freezer control right in the back, so that is nice and easy to control there. And folks, this one, because it is residential, runs only off electric. However, there is an inverter, so that way as you're going down the road, it'll make sure everything that's in there stays nice and cool. And then right over here to this side, you have the big pantry. It's a great spot for your pots and pans. I mean, if you want to throw some extra food stuff in there, you can do that as well. On the off door side is our super slide. You have a freestanding table and chairs here with four chairs. So, you know, not just the two of you, but if you want to have some company over, you have space where everyone can sit around and eat. Windows all the way around as well, to, again, to let in that light. Uh, you have a light above your table, as you would expect. Another light over here to light up the couch area. Up top, we'll open this up. You will notice you have storage there, so some good extra storage. And then the sofa itself. This is a tri-fold sofa. The reason that's a great thing is because if you do have guests over and they want to stay the night, you can certainly accommodate them here. The tri-fold will easily sleep to adults. And lastly, we talked about the TV. Jensen Electronics right here, nice TV. You can, you know, uh, as I said, see it from the sofa. You can see it from your recliners there. Multimedia center here right up top. Uh, this unit is a, uh, your radio. It's also Bluetooth capable here that controls the speakers inside as well as the ones outside. And right over to the side there, storage. You'll notice you have a remote right there. This is pretty cool. This way, if you want to stand outside, 
You can see right here kind of what you can control. So your slides, your awning, your main slide, everything right here from this control. You also can control your jacks there. So that way, you know, as you're opening that slide up, opening your awning up, you make sure you're not going to hit anything. If we drop down below the TV, that is the fireplace. 30-inch Furion fireplace there. Folks, not only does this look great, you can see that when I turn it on, but also this essentially is a space heater. So if you want to just kind of take the chill off in this space, you can turn that on. That runs off electric as well. So if you have shore power, turn that guy on, helps take the chill off in this space and you're not burning up any propane. Right here on the side panel uh, is your main control panel. You can see that there. Tank monitoring right there, water pump, heater, some of your lights, awning, and your slide out control. Directly underneath that is your thermostat. The bathroom does have two entrances and exits, one right here into the main living area, the other one into the master bedroom. Right in between is your toilet there, plenty of leg room as you can see, and you'll also notice you have your toilet paper holder already installed. Right over here, this is great, I love when manufacturers are able to put that in and that is a linen closet, so you have a place to put your towels or any other bathroom accessories you need to stick in there. And then right over here to the, in the corner is the Neo Angle shower. I'll step in here just to kind of give you an idea of space. I'm six foot. As you can see, I can I have room right here, even to the ceiling. But if you're a little bit taller than that even, you also have the skylight for that extra head height. Plus, it'll bring natural light in. You'll also notice the doors are in a roller track. Cool thing about these is when you're showering and the inside of the door is all wet, you don't have to swing it open and have all the water drip all over the floor. You open it up just like so, and the water goes right down into the shower pan. You'll also notice you have a hand wand there as well as a couple of shelves. And then over here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You have some storage right up there. Down below you have a toothbrush holder here, of course your sink, electrical outlet there, hand towel ring, and some more storage underneath. When you walk into the master bedroom here, you will notice the queen bed. It is Denver mattress. Very comfortable too, folks. You have the, uh, the foam core bed there with the pillow top on here, so that way you don't have to go out and replace your mattress right away. If you look up at the headboard, you'll see you have the cubby hole with electrical outlets on both sides. Gives you a great place to plug in and charge your electronics at night. Or if you have a CPAP machine that you sleep with, you can put that right up there too. And then you have a shelf going right across the center. You'll also see a couple LED lights up top. And then on the sides, you have mirrored wardrobe. When we open that up, you see the hanging rod going across there. It gives you a spot to hang up your clothes. Over on the uh, door side here, if you open this guy up, you'll also see you have a little laundry chute. So what you can do is you put your uh, laundry basket right there in your pass-through, and when you're done, you can toss your dirty clothes right down there for the day. Windows on both sides, and then right up top here is your TV connection. So if you want TV in the bedroom, that's where you can put it. Now let's talk about the outside features of the Vibe 268 RKS. You will notice this one has the stylish front cap on here. Kind of has the uh, almost graphite or black on the outside with the white here uh, in the center. Kind of a little fade right there. Very cool look. You'll also notice that this one has a much nicer rock guard on here because it has the front cap. And again, it's a lot cleaner than the standard diamond plating you get on the front. Plus, they hide your propane tanks and your battery behind this shroud right here. So again, it, all those things give it this very clean and stylish front end. Right up front, here is your power tongue jacks. Makes it super simple to connect and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Just flip the switch, that moves it up and down. You also have a light there in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. It gives you some added visibility. Let's come around to the side real quick. If you notice right here in the pass-through, you'll see a couple things. One. The pass-through is quite open. You have really good space in there, so you can fit, uh, you know, a numerous amount of items, some bigger items in here too. Right up here, folks, that is that inverter I had talked about for the residential refrigerator. So if you ever have to get to it, that is where it is located. You also can kind of see the aluminum framing in here. This one is vacuum bonded, laminated, so it does have the aluminum structure. You can see a little bit of that there. Dropping right down below, solar prep on here. If you're planning on doing some boondocking, solar is not a bad way to go. It'll help make sure that you are kind of topping off your batteries. They're not draining out. So if you want solar, just buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. You not only have a power tongue jack, folks, you have power stabilizer jacks on here as well. So again, that way after you get everything level and you need to stabilize the unit, you can just push the button there. That will drop your stabilizer jacks here in the front. There'll be another one in the back. 
If you notice right down below, you will see the blue lighting here. So that's cool accent lighting. Neat thing about that is, you know, not only does it give it an attractive look, it also helps you find it at night. You know, if you're out a couple spots down, maybe the campfire, come back, where's my RV? The blue light will certainly help. Also, if you are hooking up at night again, it helps you put down your pads so you can put your uh, stabilizer jacks down on top. Just gives you a little extra lighting. Speaking of lighting, take a look here. We have a power awning with the LED light strip there underneath. So if you're sitting at your own campsite, maybe you're the one hosting the campfire. Great. Turn on the light here. You can sit everyone around, be able to hang out. The power awning also is very easy to use. Touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to go right back in. And it does have adjustable pitch. It is a Solera awning, which is probably one of the easiest to adjust. You literally just pull down just like so. That'll adjust one side or the other. You can, of course, adjust both if you want to bring the whole thing down, but that's great for water runoff. The other cool thing about it is when you go to put it in, you don't have to fix it. Just roll it in any which way and it will fix itself. Main entrance is right here. One of my favorite parts is the solid step system. We are starting to see more manufacturers go to a step system like this of some kind. We've seen more ride. This is LCI's version. This is called the solid step. The reason that I love these steps, folks, is for stability. Unlike most travel trailer steps they've had for years where it's super bouncy, not the case here. This is a very sturdy or solid step system. You'll notice you have the feet that come right down, so that way you can adjust based upon your height. You also have aluminum steps, so those don't rust, has grip strips on there in case it's wet. Also the foldable grab handle here, so that way you do have good control when entering or exiting the RV. Now, because these don't fold up underneath your RV, like your standard steps, the way these work, you actually open up the door, you fold these up and in, and then you shut the door right behind them, and that's where they ride. Cool thing about that is they stay a lot cleaner, and they're not getting beat up by, you know, the, the road grime, or if it's salty roads, it's not getting thrown on there. So again, less chance for your steps to get beat up. Uh, big window right here. This is the window we saw where those two chairs were. So as I mentioned, this gives you a great view out to your campsite. You will see you have a couple windows there, so you can open that up for ventilation. Back down underneath, aluminum alloy rims, just like your steps. Cool thing about that is they will continue to look nice because aluminum doesn't rust. You also have nitrogen-filled tires for what that is worth to you. Right back here, you will see your TV connection. You want to plug in an outside TV, here you go. That is your cable outlet as well as electrical outlet, so you can set a TV up right back here. That is still well underneath the awning, so you'll get that for shade so you can see a little bit better. You'll also see you have two outside speakers right there with LED lights. As I mentioned previously, folks, those are controlled by that multimedia center unit inside. And then right back here is your outside kitchen. This is really cool. You know, you have a big rear kitchen. They know that you probably like cooking. Maybe you want to cook outside. Right over here is your refrigerator, so you have a spot to put your condiments or any beverages. You'll also see right here, this pulls out. You have an LED light in there to help brighten things up. Pull this out, lock it in place. Gives you a prep surface right here, as well as your sink off to the side. They might be saying, Ian, that's great, I have prep space, but where am I going to cook? Do not worry. Right over here on the back, you have the grill on the swing arm. So you just swing this guy right out and around, and then you can grill right there on the side of the camper. Directly above that, you have your cable and satellite inlets there. Over here to the side is your spare tire. Notice how this has a cover on it as well. So that way, hopefully, if you ever do have to use it, which hopefully you never do, but if you do, should be in good shape there because the cover will help protect it. And then right up top in the center is your backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep there does make it easier to install, meaning if you have it done professionally, it will save you on labor. If we take a look at the off-door side here, right in front of the slide, you will see your 30 amp detachable power cord right there. Directly underneath is one of two terminations. This one right here is for your black tank and your gray tank for your shower. There's another termination in the back for the rear kitchen. So if you're at a permanent site, I do recommend just wind them both together. It just makes life a little easier on you. And then as we move right up here, outside shower, this does have both hot and cold access there. Black tank flush, this is great for washing out your black tank. Highly, highly recommend it when you're done camping. That way, anything that's stuck in the bottom, it'll help rinse that out, just keep things a little bit cleaner for you. And then right underneath that is the city water connection. If you plan on doing some boondocking and you want to fill your fresh tank, that will be right up here. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Vibe 268 RKS. 
If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.